Hello everyone, back with another video, and today I'll be showing you the best um, settings for OBS um, for lower end PCs and for any PC actually. So these these are the best settings for any PC. So um, yeah, go into settings, and um, over in, in general, there's really nothing to change. These are all um, um, just basic settings that. These are just preference settings, so they don't actually affect performance. So let's go into stream. Um, obviously, you have your service. You already have probably this, so let's just skip that. So um, this may look different. So you're probably on simple. Make sure it's on advanced. So when you're on streaming, you will see encoder. So you're going to probably see times 264 or quick sync H264 or NVIDIA uh, NVENC. If you have NVIDIA NVENC uh, new, click that. If you and these are these are for NVIDIA GPUs, and I think um, AMD GPUs have has one of these, but I I don't know the name. So never go by 264 as that uses the CPU. And if you're streaming gaming, if your CPU is on you know high demands. It might drop some frames, which is bad. But with this, it lowers the utilization as it uses its own GPU chip. As I have a GTX GPU, a NVIDIA GPU, so it does that. So there you go. Um, rate control, have it on CBR. That means uh, constant bit rate. I mean, uh, oh, frick, I forgot the name. Oh, constant bit, bit rate. I'm so stupid. Sorry about that. Um, so with streaming, I would recommend, so, so one, never go with 1,000, at minimum have it at 4,000, anywhere, anything below 4,000 is bad, so this is, this is internet wise, so I have it at 6,000, that's like the top tier, so have it, have it on highest you can get it, but, um, 5,000 to 6,000, that's the best, but, um, I mean, if you have a solar internet connection, um, you know, you can do 4,000 or even 3,000, but it's not going to look as good. Then you'll see preset. So if you, are, um, if you don't have a GPU and, um, you just see times 264 or even times 286, I think most, I think you're going to see times 264 because that's like the standard. Um, you're going to see CPU usage preset higher equals less CPU have this around super fast that means it's gonna encode it super fast which will make the stream obviously more smoother um but yeah never never put it on place bow or like these small ones always put it at very fast or super fast ultra fast that yeah but um yeah like with me i don't need that i already have but uh if you have the nvidia gpu or even an aad gpu if you use this I recommend low latency quality or just low latency. If you do max performance, the quality will not look good and it will favor FPS. It's more of a preference, but um, I just I prefer low latency quality as it gets me the same frames and, and just better quality. So now with um, look ahead, if you um, don't mind the higher GPU utilization, have these on. But um, if you see high GPU utilizations, turn these off. These just increase the quality and the, you know, the smoothness. So if you care about your stream, have these two on, click apply. With recording, it's basically the same thing. Um, I, have, I have mine on 70,000. I do not know why. That was 7,000. But, you know, it's the same thing with the streaming. You know, 6,000, 5,000, or even 7,000, that would work. Make sure the recording uh, format is MP4. If it is on M MQV, because it's it's on MQV on default, it it's not really compatible with much of anything. Have it on MP4 or MOV. Those are the two popular ones, and you know have the same encoder, and yeah. And also make sure to disable rescale. I forgot to mention that. Okay, with audio. Sample rate, put it on 40 um, kilohertz. Um, make it on. Make sure it's on stereo. Um, with this, actually have it on fast. 
have the meters to cave rate fast and peter meter type sample peak if it's on true peak it doesn't really make any difference it just makes the cpu usage higher i haven't really noticed a difference so have it on sample peak click on apply and with video use the use um if you can use the resolution that is your monitor so if you go into um i think display yes display I'm using a, a 1080p monitor, 920 times 8 1080p. If you can, use that. Just use those settings right there, the same. Um, but if you're if it starts lagging because it can't handle it, then maybe drop it down to like 720p. Anyhow, uh, 60 FPS. If your system can handle it, 60 FPS. If it can't, do 30. Um, but yeah, mine can handle 60 FPS, but you know. Or either 30 or 60 those are the best options downscale filter make sure it's on uh, this if it's on that it's gonna be super intensive and it looks fine with that um, with general all right with above process priority um, I have it above normal so how this works is basically um, if you have a if you have it at idle it, basically the priority for it is basically nothing there will be a ton of drop frames. Um, it will be super choppy. It won't be good. I mean, it's going to be fast for your system. Like, if you're, if you're live streaming a game, having it on idle, it will bring all your pi you know your processing on your game. Um, if you put it on, you know, below normal, uh, it just below normal. Um, if you put it on normal, it balances out your game and the, the stream. So, um, yeah, that's... Um, I guess this can work but I have it above normal because I want my live stream to be high quality and I don't care if my game stutters a little bit because even if my game stutters a little bit it barely shows on my live stream because the priority of it is higher than the game so it kind of filters it out that's why I prefer but above normal because I don't really care about this little stuttering in, the, in my games never put it on high though if you put it on high it will disregard every other thing and it will lag your entire game where it will make it will make the stream actually lag so never put it high so above normal or normal that's good i have it above normal renderer that's like the only one so i guess use that color format leave, leave it on mv12 um that's the the default um color space 709 colors uh color range Full or partial? I leave it on partial. I don't really notice a difference. Um, and stream delay. I mean, if you want a stream delay, I guess do that. But that's preference. Um, yeah, I guess all these are really just preference. I guess. Um, yeah. Click apply. And um, yeah, um, that's the best settings in my opinion. Well, I mean, that's just the best settings for me and for most other people. For um, smooth, 60 FPS, constant, uh, best bit rate, best connection, best quality, best performance. And yeah, subscribe, like, uh, if I helped you. Hopefully I did. And yeah, share it with other people. Um, and yeah, see you guys later. Peace. P.S. I do Minecraft live streaming, so yeah. Alright, bye.